This video is about equation solving from our basic skills review package. Um, and in case you had a little bit of trouble remembering how to solve equations, that's what we're going to talk about. So when you are solving an equation, you are trying to figure out what the missing value is that makes the equation work. So what number could you put in for x that makes that work out? And we usually do that by rearranging to isolate to get the x or whatever the variable is all by itself and everything on the other side. So here I have 2x plus 3 equals 9. So my goal is to try to find a way to get that x all by itself and everything else on the other side. So the previous thing you should have done in your review package was bed mass or order of operations. And when we're solving equations, we actually do order of operations backwards. So we do what we usually call SAMDEB, which means you move addition and subtraction first, and then multiplication and division, and then your exponents and your brackets. So here, if I take a look on this side of the equation, I have multiplication and I have addition. So the thing that you would do last with order of operations is what you would do first when you're trying to rearrange. So if I had had a number here, I would do 2 times the number and then add 3. So that 3 is going to be the first thing to go. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So 9 take away 3 is 6. So I now have that 2x equals 6. And then to eliminate that 2, I'm going to divide, that's the opposite operation, by 2 on both sides. And I get that x equals 3. All right, the second one is a little trickier because it doesn't just have one term with an x. It actually has two terms with x, and they're on opposite sides of the equal sign. So what I would like to do is get all of the x's onto one side. So I would probably bring this 2x over to the other side so that all of the x's are on the same side together. Now to get that 2x to the other side, it is a positive 2x. So we would take away 2x from both sides to make that move happen. So 4x take away 2x is 2x. I still have that minus 7, and it equals negative 15. And then this is just like the last one. Um, I have multiplication and subtraction, so the subtraction goes first. We're going to add 7 to both sides. So 2x equals negative 15 plus 7 is negative 8. And then I divide both sides by 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. All right, the next one has brackets. So when you have brackets, what you want to do is you want to multiply them out first and then deal with the question from there. So I would start this question by multiplying the 5 into the bracket. So 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15x. And then there's still a plus 2. And on the other side, we have 5 minus 2x. Now, this is the same situation as the previous question. Uh, you want to try to get all the x's on one side. Now, it's your choice. You can move the 15x over. You could move the 2x over. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm going to move the, the 2x over. So it is a minus 2x. So I'm going to actually add 2x to both sides. So that's going to give me, on this side, negative 13 x, and then I'm going to put together the numbers, I mean, I might as well, 20 plus 2 is 22, and then over here, all I have left is that 5, and then what we're going to do is take the 22 to the other side and subtract, so I have negative 13x, 15 take away 22 should be negative 17, and then we're going to divide both sides by negative 13. Now, unfortunately, 17 does not divide nicely by 13, so we're going to leave it as a fraction. But I do have a negative and a negative, so that's an even match. So that's going to give me a positive, and that's going to be 17 over 13. All right, last question here. I have three times x minus 2 squared minus 12 equals 0. So to solve this, there's a couple of different ways you could do it. 
Um, we could multiply everything out, get a quadratic, and then factor, solve. Um, or I could just do a little rearranging. So if you have an x all by itself, you can do some rearranging. If you do not have an x all by itself, then you would need to look at finding another method of solving. Um, but I'm going to try to isolate the x, since there's only one of them, um, by moving everything over. So if x was a number, let's say it was 5, not that it matters, I would do 5 minus 2, and then I would take that number and square it, and then I would times it by 3, and then I would subtract 12. So when you're solving an equation, you do the opposite of what you would do with order of operations. So the last thing I would do with order of operations is subtract 12. So the first thing I'm going to do to move it over is get rid of that 12. So I have 3 times x minus 2 squared equals 12. Okay, so if there was a number, I would subtract, then square, then times by 3. So the 3 is the next thing to go. So I'm going to divide by 3. So I have x minus 2 still squared. 12 divided by 3 is 4. All right, so if I had a number, I would subtract, and then I would square. So the next thing to go is to square. The opposite of a square is a square root. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to be left with x minus 2 on this side. Now, when you take the square root in a question, we would have talked about this in grade 11, um, the square root of 4 is 2, but it could have been a positive 2 that was squared to give me that number. It could also have been a negative 2 that was squared to give me the 4. So we actually end up with two possible answers. We get a positive and a negative. So we get plus or minus 2, and it only happens when you're rearranging. If you're doing a question where there's a square root, the sign will already be indicated in it. But if you're making a square root because you're rearranging, that's when we do the plus and minus. And then we're going to finish it off by moving that negative 2 over by adding 2. So I'm going to get plus or minus 2 plus 2, which tells me I'm actually going to get two answers, one where I do the positive 2, so I'm going to have 2 plus 2, which is 4. And one where I have the negative, so negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. So I actually have two answers here. I have a possibility of 4 and a possibility of 0. And that's our equation solving.